uncomfortable subject matter that's even more uncomfortable for your pet. We're talking about bladder or urinary tract infections. It can be hard to tell if your pet is actually suffering from one. But if left undetected or untreated, they can cause kidney disease or, or worse. Uh, Joe Orlando was live in Orangevale with our favorite vet, Dr. Jill Rubin, about the signs of how you can tell when your pets are in pain. Joe. You know what, guys? This is one of those things. Dr. Jill, first of all, we showed this during the tease. Break it down for us. What are we looking at, dog or cat, and what exactly is that? Well, this is a little dog. It's a little Bichon, and he has right in his bladder. I don't know if you can see that little circle there, but these are bladder stones. Oh, boy. So how do, how do they come about, and, and you know, what, what do we do if our dog gets it? What, what, what a, you know, all that stuff. Well, first of all, it can be breed specific. So Bichons and Malteses are more apt to get these Dalmatians as well. But any animal can get these, really. Dogs, cats, goats, sheep. And it's all, a lot of time dietary or chronic urinary disease. You were saying that, too. And, you know, I feed my dog um, the dry food, but you're saying you should mix it up. Right. Absolutely. We're now finding that with these dry foods, their systems are drying up. They're dehydrating themselves and causing urinary disease, kidney disease, bladder disease. So I like to make a little gruel, and I give them... It looks like gruel, too. <laughs> yummy. I mean, you can actually eat this yourself. It's my crock pot recipe. And there's sweet potatoes and chicken in there. There's red peppers. Some of these things can be strong. Structured for urinary disease as well. You can check with your veterinarian who does food therapy. Jill, let's come over here and look at some of the stuff that we've been talking about. Now, listen, Elliot, get in real close and let's just listen to that, guys. Those are the stones right there. And this was taken out of one of the animals here. And then we have these here, Jill, and these look like little. Uh, like little uh, BBs. Little BBs, yeah. Those actually came out of a goat, if you could believe that. So all animals are prone to urinary disease, like you said, and we have to go in surgically and get these out. There are some diets that will help dissolve them, but when they get to this magnitude, you have to take them out surgically. Two questions, Jill. we got about 30 seconds left. How do we know our animal has it, and what can we do about it? Frequent urination, frequent drinking, squatting a lot, all those things. Check with your veterinarian. And also there's a myriad of different things out on the table here. There's Chinese herbs, food therapy, all kinds of cool products out there now to help with renal disease and bladder disease. Okay, guys, how helpful was all this? It's one of those things. We think about it, Paul, and I know you had stones at one point. Uh, we don't really think about it for our animals, but probably we should. I learned something today. Mix in a little bit of wet food. Oh, yeah. I, Diva I, loves that crock yeah. mixture. I was feeling for the goat, Joe. I will tell you that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. me and my kidney stones. I, <laughs> yowch. Uh, if you have any questions for Dr. Jill, check out her website at uh, drjill with a y, dot com.